Yeah, he got psyched by the silence, bro. He's like, bro, oh, oh, awkwardly oh, silent. <laughs> uh, now we are talking. Actually, if you if you uh, stand in the room like without anything, like right now, uh-huh. yeah, like if no one talks. <laughs> Do you hear the cr- yeah. in your ears? Yeah, so that's you won't that you won't hear in any other studio here because the isolation is that absolute. Yeah, so. spend an ungodly amount of hours on our instruments right on our instruments and on our music and our composition but what ultimately ends up matter that matters right is the production and the studio where your music is being recorded tracked and produced and that's the reason i have taken the liberty of going all the way to sarjapur to this wonderful studio called Open Road Studios and uh, truth be told it's an amazing place and uh, the work done behind the studio is amazing uh, I really love it and uh, I thought I will give you a hint and a gist of what the place is like this was uh, us in the studio uh, honestly if you care a lot about your music you as I told you you spend a lot of hours you spend a lot of hours on your instruments but ultimately everything is in the hands of the studio these guys have gone out of the way to bring beautiful equipment and hardware into bangalore that's 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 the truth this video is all about that i'd love you to go and reach out to this place and uh, and any day take a stu- studio tour and uh, that's it that's that but before everything
Man is not for proofing. Usually the kits here, and then if you if you want to like tighten the sound of the kit and stuff, ah, we move the panels. Panels close. It. Okay. This is a Vox AC30. Classic. The uh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Look like a suitcase, bro. Okay. Done. Where the microphones at? Microphones are outside. Never this is like for the just to. That's a that's the pre. headphone amp for all uh, the musicians. Uh, like uh, line ins. Yeah, no, no. These are basically like feeding individual headphone mixes to uh, each of the musicians. Uh, so this usually stays somewhere close to where they're playing, you know. Uh, so they're all connected. Uh, right. So that's called a Q mix. Okay. What okay. we send to them. Ah. Uh, so. Right. Right. For the so for now, reference for them. So this room is like this room has different acoustic properties. This one has yeah? different acoustic properties. Fuck. This one's more like if I do this in that room, you won't hear this. You hear that sound. Tail. Like it's la that tail is lasting for a while. That's intentional in this room. Ah. Uh, like when we. So that cuts off the tail. No, no. There. This, the, huh, there it cuts off the tail. But there, there's a different EQ curve of that room. Uh -huh. And then this room we move in like you can see ports here. Uh -huh. This is all going to my door. You okay, see okay, the ports okay. in here. Yeah, like yeah. So the back I saw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, They're all straight routed to my Pro Tools there. Uh -huh. So each of the signal. So basically, this is going to my mic pre. Uh -huh. Pre, you know. Ah, uh, pre. Yeah. Then pre, then comp, and then yeah. So this is the ISO booth for all the commercial. Okay, work, okay. All the ad work. Ad work. You know that that app thing that we are doing. Did I tell you about that? App. There's a app we are working on. Like for yours? No, no. Like it's okay, a, for a client. Client. Yeah. yeah. This company called Jedi Brain. So they're I've heard doing an app for students, uh, preschool and all that. Okay, okay. So like just like all, uh -huh. uh, like pronouncing all uh, vowels uh -huh. and words. Right, and right. Shit. Is it Bro, there are better mics. Uh, that's let's go, let's mic. go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Okay. So these are the I'll show you the Chandler. The real deal. The Abbey Road Limited Edition. Now why is this mic considered ultra cool? Mm, just because of its vocal texture. Vocal like and it's predominantly used in vocals. No. Nothing like that. It's like, bro, people like Rand Hubert and all are using this for like uh, fucking uh -huh. guitar caps. Guitar. It's replaced like the classic mics that we have a very classic mic for guitars as the Royal Ribbon. Okay, okay, okay. Literally replacing. It's extremely versatile. So these are the five different tape modes on it. Uh -huh. You know, the seven X seven. Okay, fuck. This is all from the EMI TG boards, the mastering board set. Right? Okay, okay, okay. So the mics, the the EQs are modeled from that. So each setting gives me a totally different texture. Thank you. Yeah. Have a Royal R121 classic, like the most classic guitar mic, you know? Yeah. But this guy apparently is better than the Royal Red guitars. We haven't tried it yet. This is the Royal. All right. Fuck. These these are the Rupert Neve DIs for the guitars and bass and stuff. Oh fuck so the yeah. The best DIs out there. Right. All the bands here dig these DIs, man. In fact, for bass, we barely have to mic an amp, you know. The DI itself gives such a fat tone. Tone. The Rupert DI. Yeah. Some yeah, bassists are happy with just the DI tone. It'll, it'll, it'll more of like a saturation. Not a saturation. It's it's more like a it's more like a very exact replica of the bass signal, which which other DIs don't do. Huh.
Audio and upward. Huh? The last one and the double. That's a warm audio 40 cell. Okay. This is a. Oh, I didn't show you the coals. I didn't show you the coals. So, these are the vintage uh, British coals. These are the most ah. unique. Yeah, heavy as fuck, you know. We have to get those. Uh, so, these are the enhanced audio island. Uh, these, these are the mic mounts. Ah, mounts. Okay, okay. These oh. mounts are the first in India, by the way. No one uses them in, in the <laughs> yeah? country. Yeah, these enhanced audio. The company told us this is the first uh-huh. pair we are shipping okay. out. This guy basically is held in like this here. When uh, it's going down on it's right. used as like overheads, uh-huh. drum overheads. Drum? Yeah. You can use it on anything, it's versatile as fuck. Okay, okay. Like for a lady with a very shrill voice, no? Uh. These would be perfect because they have a very dark texture. They take out all shrillness. Oh. Okay. And for drums and all they're magical. There's nothing more legendary than uh-huh. for drums. So yeah, and then we have a blue bottle rocket mic locker. Okay. This is another one. We have more mics here that I didn't show you, but okay. these are the primary ones. These are the highlights. Showed. The highlights I showed.
This is where the microphone signal is coming in. Okay, okay. Notification then goes to the door. Br uh.